notice that rich people behave in the same manner when it comes to certain subjects like that of money, while poor people tend to think and act in a way that is different from the rich folks. Could it be that money makes people think differently or perhaps people who think differently from the norm tend to make more money and become rich at the end of the day? According to T. Harv Eker, the author of Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, rich people believe, I create my life. Poor people believe, life happens to me. Now, that's a major difference between both parties. Rich people see themselves as being in charge, hence they take responsibility for their lives and determine what they want to become of their lives. Poor people, on the other hand, do not understand this. Hence, they just live life the best way they know how to live. In the end, they end up creating some terrible daily habits for themselves. These habits become responsible for the state of their financial freedom. Remember, our habits form us. Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. In this video, I'll share with you 10 things only poor people do. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Poor people believe money is evil. The beginning of the problem for poor people is that they think money is bad. As a result, most people dislike rich people because they think that they are wicked. Money is a tool that can be used for both good and bad. People who, however, see money as being bad are lazy people who are scared of chasing their dreams. Hence, they justify their actions by saying they do not want excess money because they do not want to become bad people, forgetting that money can be used to do great stuff. You see, if you truly believe in good things, helping people is a part of it and you cannot do this if you don't have money. So stop thinking like the poor, chase your dreams, become wealthy and change the world. 2. Poor people blame others. Poor people think that they are poor because their parents were poor or they grew up in a poor environment or they had no money to go to school and so on. They think circumstances or people are responsible for their poverty. They fail to understand that everyone is in charge of their lives and can make it whatever they please to. Check out one or two rich people around you. Do you notice how responsible they are? Not only are they responsible for themselves but others as well. Poor people, on the other hand, prefer to shift all their responsibilities on someone else and they never blame themselves for their mistakes. Instead, they find a way to blame the one who is responsible for them. 3. Poor people spend their time watching television while rich people read. According to Zig Ziglar, rich people have small TVs and big libraries and poor people have small libraries and big TVs. Poor people find pleasure in getting entertained, which is why they'll sit in front of a screen all day long, watching reality shows to find out what's going on in other people's lives, or spend all their time surfing the internet and getting entertained on social media. Instead of spending their time investing in self-development, they'd rather enjoy several hours of entertainment on TV, which is why they remain poor. 4. Poor people prefer to get paid based on time while rich people on money. Poor people are not result oriented at all. They want to come to work 5 days a week, 4 weeks a month and then get paid for their regularity at work, whether or not they get their daily tax completed. Rich people on the other hand prefer to be paid based on the results they achieve at the end of the day. So, if it means taking a longer time than normal to achieve an excellent result, they'll go for it and get paid accordingly. Little wonder, David Bailey said, to get rich, you have to be making money while you're asleep. 5. Poor people think they know it all. Have you ever sought a piece of advice from someone poor? They always seem to know it without expertise. Poor people think they know how best to make money. They think that they are smart and strong enough to make money by working harder to earn more money. While rich people keep learning, growing and stepping out over their boundaries in the search for self-development, poor people tend to be opinionated about anything that is outside their realm of influence. They have an opinion on almost all subject matter. They think they know it all. 6. 
poor people focus on saving while rich people on investment. Saving is good, but saving without an intention is a poor decision because you'll end up spending the money on things that don't matter. T. Harv Ecker of Secrets of a Millionaire said, If you're saving your money for a rainy day, what are you going to get? Rainy days. Stop doing that. Instead of saving for a rainy day, focus on saving for a joyous day or for the day you win your financial freedom. Rich people save towards investment, poor people towards rainy days. 7. Poor people always have an excuse for why they have not made it. Ask someone poor why he hasn't made it yet and then listen to what he has to say. A bunch of excuses and you know what? They want people to empathize with them when they are done listing their excuses. They think they have suffered enough and deserve to be helped. Hence, they keep sharing the same old story of they had no money or opportunity to get a qualification and the likes. Poor people always have a story to tell why they are not rich. Rich people, on the other hand, accept everything that has happened to them as an opportunity to become or remain successful. 8. Poor people surround themselves with poor people E. A. Buccaneri said, Evil influence is like a nicotine patch. You cannot help but absorb what sticks to you. Also, according to Michael Bassey Johnson, to be of good quality, you have to excuse yourself from the presence of shallow and callow-minded individuals. The truth is that you can't expect to be around poor people and become the superhero rich friend in their midst. It doesn't work that way. Poor people are always around poor people like them and they spend their entire time talking about people rather than talking about ideas like the rich guys do. Remember, ideas rule the world. But when you have nothing relevant to offer, how then can you become rich? 9. Poor people complain about every problem. They never find a solution. The government is bad, the roads are terrible, and the weather is such a big problem these days. You know what? I'm sick and tired of it all. Why can't somebody just get it right for once? Do those words sound familiar? They are the words of the poor. They are full-time complainers. For example, most poor people who get in an accident spend the next three days talking about the accident, what happened, how it happened, and so on. On the other hand, successful people will immediately call their insurance company, schedule an appointment to fix their car at a shop, and be done with it. Rather than dwelling on what has happened that you can't change, why not focus on finding a solution to it, moving away from it in good time? 10. Poor people only think of how to make money, not how to be great. Mark my words, I'll be a millionaire one day, or I will own a Lambo one day. I'm sure by now you know where those words come from. Yes, from poor people. Making money is the ultimate for them. They don't think of how to become great. They are only interested in the things they can begin to buy once they start making money. When you go ahead to ask them how they intend to make money to buy these things they have pointed out, they say things like, I'll own my own business, build a brand, and so on. People who focus on being great think about how they can become one of the best guys in their industries. They have goals like, I want to become the best car salesman or become the number one restaurant in the city. When you become good at what you do, you'll definitely become rich. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Do you love to start your day with high energy? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was designed to give you daily inspirational videos that will help you become a high achiever. We call it Inspiration Tube.